Hey everybody, Rubik's kind of here with Total War Three Kingdoms playing in the Fates Divided DLC. Didn't have a chance, as I mentioned in a couple of videos, to do a early access campaign on this one, so I do apologize for that. But we are going into it today, and it is going live. It's March 10th, so it should be live today. So go out and grab it. If you need Three Kingdoms, you can check it out in the Nexus link in the description of this video. We're going to go back to Ma Tung. Well, he's one of the first campaigns on this channel, so I've got a bit of an attachment to him. And so we're going to uh, be going with him. His starting position is a little different than it was in the 190 start. So in 200, maps a lot different. Sao Sao has way more territory. So we're going to be in the West. We're going to try to restore the Emperor and keep on moving forward so we are on very hard very hard and we're gonna jump right in desperate times call for exceptional leaders There is a fine line between admirable strength. And distasteful expedience. And a strong hand alone may not be enough to secure lasting victory. To fight for survival or advancement is only natural. Yet a wise man knows when to put their own ambitions aside. To serve a greater cause. Once weaker rivals have fallen, and sides have been chosen. Then comes the greatest test. The final battle. Where only one will triumph. This is a time of great chaos, but also of great deeds. Throughout the land, new leaders raise their standards, while some who remember the glory days of the Han still seek a return to more stable times. The protector of the West, we're going for stability. Here we go. Warlords have divided... So we are going to skip this part. I have the uh, advice turned off for vocals, so that's probably why it's not coming through. <laughs> so one new thing here is there is Imperial Intrigue. So it, it basically is a system where the more favor you have with the Emperor, basically if your public order is high or you have a... F a food surplus, you get better satisfaction in diplomatic relations and reduce corruption. However, if it's not in favor, which we're just on the outside of it being, then they're in, the Emperor is indifferent and you have worse factors. So we're actually going to target ourselves to increase Imperial favor. I think you can only do it once per turn. Yeah, you can only do that. It's on cooldown. So we can also decrease their favor and make his life more difficult. So there is that as well. But our first, our first mission, let's make sure we're all, oh shoot. So I reinstalled Three Kingdoms because I had some computer issues a while back. I haven't really played it much since then. So if you see a bunch of this like noob stuff in here, that's why. Uh, eight satisfaction, instinct.
You can have that. And then yeah, I want you... You can take that. And then you take that. And then I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have any administrators. I can make somebody a chancellor, though. Pang Di, it's probably best if he... Ah, Hua Lan Li, my wife. My wife! Um, she's not super happy. That's okay, though. Um, what does Chancellor do? Income from peasantry. I, I want to keep him happy. So he is now Chancellor. Congratulations on your promotion. Uh, Twin Marshal G. Okay. That's fine. We'll hang on to that one. And can you reach? I don't think you have to, though. That costs 8,000 to settle, so we're not going to do that. Let's see. I know. I know. Been here before. All right. I want to ultimately get to... I would like to get to there. Do I not have enough money? Oh, I need tea. Let's see what we can get first. I know how this all works. Thank you very much. Uh, trade agreements. Do you have tea? That's interesting. All right, so I'll take that from you. Hansui, I can only have the one trade agreement, so that's fine. So here, we're not at war with them, but they don't like us. So I'm actually going to recall this retinue just because that will boost our income we do have low satisfaction too so we need to work on that first mission is to take this so we'll go ahead and fight this battle and we will jump right into it a fire burns in my soul ceaseless and strong it seems like Ma Tung and Ma Chao have a very unique relationship. In the first one, it's very much a, you know, he's coming of age, but now he is of age. And in the intro video, it talks about the voice wasn't there, the one that I skipped. It talks about how he's basically holding. He's holding Ma Chao back from just going after Cao Cao. So it's a bit of an interesting dynamic. And I will say that is what I like a lot about Three Kingdoms is just the interpersonal stories. It's is it, you know, it's historical and it's awesome, but the interpersonal stories are really what make it for me. It's like it's like nothing I've ever played before in that regard, where there are relationships and people care about what happens. So I like it. I like it a lot. All right, you guys at this gate, I'm very sorry for you. You're about to get walloped. We'll fast. We'll speed this up. Double roar of the beast. All right, take out their archers. Uh, Ma Tang, you mop, you mop them up. They're only broken. Ma Tong, excuse me. I've been saying his name wrong for so long.
Come on. Finish him off. There we go. So your archers stop firing. We don't need any friendly fire killing our own troops. And pretty straightforward and easy victory to start. Not too shabby. Let feasting commence. I will start the feasting. I like that. I have lost imperial favor. Why have I lost imperial favor? Is it, oh, it's because I went after him. This shows much potential. That's okay. Commander and Conquer. <laughs> nice little nod there. Destroy Han Sui. Reward on success, mobilize troops. Nice. Okay, so he only has... Looks like he has those two territories. And we're going to try to... Yeah, he's got... He's got... He's got three territories. And there are passes now. This is the other part of it. Or it's almost kind of like the... Uh, I haven't seen one yet in person, but like right here, it's almost, I think it's kind of like a fort in Warhammer, uh, Warhammer 2. So, that's cool. Uh, and let's see, so I've got Wudu. This is the main province, the main city rather. Could upgrade that. I do like that, and that will help counter the corruption. So we're going to build that. I'm not going to push it through. We could recruit some more troops. Oh, and actually, wait. Hold on a second. Oh, darn it. I've got... All right. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to keep going. I have it it's set to large instead of extreme unit scale, which it's fine. It's not the end of the world, but um, I'll maybe try to fix that before the next episode. I'll just play back to we'll keep going and then I'll figure out a way to remerge it. So sorry about that, guys. All right. So we do need more troops, though. Or should we build up? We can't really build much. We can only build one thing at a time. So let's get troops instead. And I'd like to swap these guys out. Oops. Let's see, I want... I want these guys. Still got money. Okay. And these guys, I think, are the only... Ooh, yeah, I want them. All right, so we have done a very decent amount of recruiting. We have tanked that, so... Yeah, you clowns. Oh, they're my family. Dang it, I can't kick them out. You, though, I can. That'll help with the, uh, the old income a little bit. And then, yeah, I can't adjust this until I'm at a higher level. Okay, so we've got the trade agreement. We took the first city. Because, yeah, this is just a... Yeah, this is like a gar it's like a garrison wall to prevent invasions. So we'll end our turn. This is, I, I like this because it's all of the, um, it's everybody. 
like all the DLCs are now involved. So like you've got in the south, you've got uh, Mulu and all those guys. So it's, it's pretty cool, at least I think. So let's see. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I want it. That's just garrison. I kind of want to come take this out. What type of garrison does he have here? Okay, yeah, I think we could we could take that. And that's also Han Sui himself. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna stay just outside of his reach. I know about military supplies, thank you. And I could send some people on assignments. You are very upset. Um, let's give you... What is our industry income? Decent, okay. Yeah, we need to send you on that assignment then. Go forth! It's funny, why does he not like... Why does he not like... Oh, he resents discipline, that's why. You can't tell me what to do, Dad! Do to what? <laughs> oh, look at you, running away. He's probably gonna head for wood, uh... He's gonna head for there. Can I reach him? I can't. What's the garrison? It's a okay. That's actually a decent garrison. What does he have? Oh yeah, yeah. I can probably beat that with towers. Are you kidding me? In the name of China. All right. Um, given the difficulty here, I'm going to, I'm going to fight this just because I don't want the auto resolve to hit me too hard. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. This is actually not a... This is just a field battle. Okay. Should I have done this all before? Yes. Because these guys, that's right, they're not, these guys are not immune to f fatigue. All right, you guys come up here. We have the high ground. Are you shooting or not? Get into position. And envelop. Bad day for you. Yeah, do not charge head on into the spears, please. And you are now all separated. And here comes the rest.
Loop back around. Quit skirmishing. Hit them. Keep chasing them down. All right. They're almost gone. Keep firing on them. Reform. You're shooting, right? Okay. There we go. They thought better of it. Decisive victory. I love it. I love it. I love it. I know, I'm losing Imperial favor. This shows much potential. But what we can do We still have a cooldown on that. We don't have any missions though. Oh, but look at Sao Sao. I almost feel like we need to uh knock him down a peg. But, yeah, we'll do that. Welcome back to my level. <laughs> yes, I want that to get the recruit, the cavalry recruiting in better shape. Okay, so Han Sui has got two choices. He can go here. Which, that's a decent garrison, especially against majority cavalry. And I think this has towers. Yeah. It... Oh, yeah. Or, sorry. Okay, yeah, that was my mistake. I was clicking the wrong one. We can come back and get it, though, rather quickly. And he may pull back once he's seen that we've taken this, because otherwise we'll keep pressing into his territory. What's up with you? I know you have low satisfaction. What can I do about it though? Not much. A peace born of desperation, not resolution. I'm sure. Um, how about you give me some territory? I want I don't know if I'll, I don't care about that because they can't generate anything as far as recruitment. I want that can go away. I want that. No. You insult the cause. No, I just kind of insulted you. There's a difference. Oh, and you're stuck in force march. Hmm. Bad move. I know she's unhappy. Okay, that's almost ready. Public order's going down. Why? People in power, faction supports. How much you cost per turn? I'll get you out here just to help with. I feel the warmth of home. That's only a positive one. <laughs> uh boy. Um. Oh, 
hopefully that'll give him something to do. Um, how do I want to go about this? I can't go for his capital just yet. I'm not quite strong enough. Do I go for him, though? I think I can get there this way, too. Yeah, we're going to head for his army. We're going to see he's not going to meet us in the field of battle. I'm positive of it. Caution douses the heart's desire. Yeah, we just don't have a ton of faction support. Yeah, it's these family members of mine. <laughs> Gotta whip them back into shape. Honestly, if he's not gonna help that much, he might as well come up here. Be ready to move. Passion cannot you start heading for that. And we can only have the one... Okay, I don't have any of these people. We're almost the second marquee. We're halfway there, so that's good. I have one trade route. Can I get some stuff from you, though? Hold on. Always a pleasure. I'm not using these at the moment. Oh, wait, I can use these on my family members. Hold on. I know. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Stop it. There we go. That will help a little bit with the satisfaction. Not a ton, but... It'll do some. Now let's see what Han Sui does. Yeah, he's gonna run. Oh, but not far enough. It may just be the terrain, too. In the name of China. Oh, we can't quite reach him. This is what you train for. Spreading the word of our code. You had to hear. Just a garrison there. All right, we're oh, we're so close to him. We just we just can't quite reach him. Uh, let's take a look down here. They they're not really doing anything in this area. Control is improving. Four turns until full faction support. I think that's causing a lot of it, honestly. Yeah, it's starting to decrease as we get more of that back. So definitely a plus. Oh, um, yeah, he's going to get away. Non-aggression pact. Yeah, I'm actually not going to do that. It is as I prefer, but thank you. All right, so it's now spring again. We might be able to... Can we reach him? Oh, we're just short. Okay. Uh, tell you what, we are actually going to end the episode right here. Um, as I said, I know the unit size is on large. I want it on extreme. So we are going to work on that. Um, and then... I'm going to probably try to get this back to almost where it is right now as much as possible. And then we'll move on episode two from here. So for now, this is Rubicon signing out. Hopefully you enjoyed the Fates Divided DLC. We'll see you next time. Again, this one's probably going to be on Wednesdays moving forward for a little bit. And then depending on what happens with the 1212 AD mod, this one may take its place on Tuesday, Thursday. So for now, this is Rubicon signing out. We'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Rubicon out.